Hello and welcome to the very first video of Architect Studio. My name is Jasmine and I am here providing information on the CSEV application to all the internationally trained architects who are planning to proceed towards the licensure process of becoming an architect in Canada. So today we are going to discuss about what CSEV is, who is eligible to get your degrees evaluated by this organization as per the Canadian educational system in architecture and what are the requirements for the application what are the questions that I had in my mind during my application back in 2019 also uh, we would like to discuss on what are the issues that I faced during the application Secondly, we would also discuss on stuff that you should be taking into consideration before, during and after the application process. So let's just begin with it. Okay. So CSEB application is for all the internationally trained architects who want to get their degrees evaluated in Canada and be eligible to gain the license of an architect and be a professional who is practicing here in Canada right so when we go to the CSEB website select the academic certification here it basically mentions everything about CSEB and then all the six parameters on which your previous degrees would be evaluated so these six parameters are where you have to divide your subjects during your university and categorize them according to the description provided under these six headings so these six are further even divided into other options so it is easier for you to understand and relate to the subjects as per Canadian architectural standards and your country's architectural standards so this is the gist of on this page that you must be knowing and then going to the eligibility criteria here the one thing that pops on top of my mind is that it is not necessary that you need to have a master's of architecture to be able to get a license in architecture but uh, most of my friends they are under this impression that oh no I don't have masters I just did my bachelor's or um, I am not eligible for it so clearly it mentions that you are eligible to apply for CACB application right so and it also also mentions that there be three options out of which you could select so first one is a minimum of five years of post-secondary study culminating in masters of architecture degree which follows a pre-professional bachelor's degree except in Quebec where the minimum is four years of professional studies following two years of CEGEP right second option is a minimum of six years of post-secondary study culminating in a master of architecture degree which follows a bachelor's degree in any discipline and includes a minimum of three years of professional studies in architecture and the third one is a minimum of five years of post-secondary study culminating in a bachelor of architecture degree so again the question is that what if your university does not have a five-year course maybe your university has a four-year course so for sure you can contact to CACB they are really helpful and you can mention your situation that hey this is my university standards and I just have a four-year degree so am I eligible or not and if there is any course that you did here in Canada like a bridging course to supplement your education that could be added to your evaluation degree so yes you can do it and of course you can ask them they're really helpful they're very quick in response to do it in a day or two right okay going to the next tab which is modes of certification it lists 
all the options that you have these are the five categories under which you could fall so the one that was relevant for me was the fourth one which is you graduated in architecture with a degree or diploma not accredited by CSCB from the RAIC syllabus of studies program so you can go ahead and read all about the other options that is there but for me I will be touching upon the issues and challenges that I faced when I was applying under this condition it is the accredited professional degree tab in here it mentions that you could be qualified to get your degrees evaluated either by CACB or NAAP for me it was CACB now you have two options whether you apply it through online or you apply uh, offline which is the paper application but please bear in mind that online application is not that you have to submit everything online like all your documents needs to be hard printed notarized basically those needs to be the certified true copies and then sent them to their Ottawa app address right so it's just the form and the fee that you pay online but other than that everything is offline which is the paper mode so in the online application they are say that you should have following documents to support your uh, application which is actually really required before you sit down and start filling up your form so you would need your official transcripts or certified true copies of the record of completed courses of bachelor's and the master's degree payment of the assessment fee which can be a draft or you can pay it online and then submit them the confirmation receipt that you might receive after the successful payment after that there is a guide for the online application which we will touch upon later and then they say that the application process takes approximately two hours for most candidates from accredited programs however i will show you that it doesn't and they also mention under their guide for the online application that it requires roughly between 12 to 14 hours but, but provided you have all your stuff ready beforehand right another things that you might want to keep handy is the name of your program dip or diploma years of studies and graduation and transcript of your professional degree in architecture so here like I said before they mentioned that all documents must be mailed out to our office in the hard copy format scanned and emailed documents are not accepted uh, and then the CACB also has the right to ask for another set of document if they feel that the ones that is submitted is not sufficient enough to support your application CACB does mention that it takes them three months to get back to us uh, with the result but that is when they receive after the full set of applications so when you send your first application for example you receive a email from them that okay i need another set of documents so please courier back to us so your three months will start again from the day they receive the documents right it is advice that you have all your documents ready and sent to them in your first attempt as your application might get delayed later on the other thing is that you can always save your application and then return back to it then we go back to the paper application this basically uh, is the form where you would provide all your details your basic details your name address education details and just sign it but in online application it is already there when you select apply now that's the very first thing that pops up so here you can also find the address where you might have to send your documents as a hard copy okay guys that's it for the part one let's just jump right into the part two of the CACB application for further details thank you